Here we go. How'd this guy get free so quick? Look at that. We got another A gap. Let's go. Is that Martin? That's all pro, like one of the highest rated linemen and players in the game. Martin just getting completely pooped and shucked and Fletcher Cox just gets right in. Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Madden Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got another defensive play, a blitz for you, out of pretty much every playbook. I'm using the uh, the Eagles playbook, I'm actually using the, the Ravens playbook, but I'm using my Eagles team. Uh, but this this is pretty much in every playbook, so I wouldn't worry about what playbook you have, it should be in there. Uh, but either way, this is going to be part two, uh, unintentionally a part two, of a series of blitzes that I put out from uh, this formation right here, the, the weak side uh, blitz three, the, the weak safety blitz two, I'm not sure what the WS stands for, but I put those two out already, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to complete the three uh, with the weak side blitz one. Now, I personally run a lot of man coverage, so I was happy that I found some slightly different adjustments that make this play way better. Uh, than the original, uh, I don't want to say it's better than the original two plays, but it's better for me because I run man coverage this year. Man coverage one, uh, which this basically is. So we're going to go, we're going to pick that. On the other side, I got the Dallas Cowboys offensive line. So if I'm giving myself, you know, a test, this is the test to give myself and give this blitz. I wanted a mobile quarterback because this is a completely shut down blitz against mobile quarterbacks. So I got Dak Prescott on the other side. We're going to do random gun. Now, I forgot to mention that you probably want to have, you know, speed once again in the safety spot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fix that real quick. So real simple setup. I'm not, I don't know if everybody saw the original video or the original plays, but all I'm going to do, this guy should come down by himself. Uh, I like to move him around a little bit, get him a little bit closer to the line. Uh, but the, uh, the setup along the defensive line is L1, uh, then down on the left stick, and then L1 down the right stick. That's all it really is. So that's L1, pinch. L1 slant inside and then this guy right here I'm just gonna bring him down uh, and I'm gonna gonna hover over this gap so what this is gonna do is gonna get that cornerback in free now uh, I didn't mean to blitz <laughs> I didn't mean for it to start right away looks like we might get a pick though um, we definitely got the pressure like I said I didn't mean for that to run I wanted to show one more adjustment but that's the old adjustment anyway there's a slightly new one but you can see how this guy just comes in free and this is against you know we got four we got four guys getting blocked by five guys and then this guy just comes in free so you're gonna get that every time but like I said that was the original adjustment so I found a way to kick this play up a notch plus like I said using it in man coverage which is preferable to me so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna hit uh, down on you know I'm gonna pinch again slant side again I'm not gonna move that cornerback I don't have to but the last thing I'm gonna do is hold L2 and R and QB contain by hitting R1 so now I have a setup where if this blitzing cornerback forces the quarterback to roll out which is typical whenever you have pressure you're gonna get uh, a quarterback's natural instinct you're gonna kick in to try to roll away from that pressure it's just gonna get him in trouble here as you can see uh, you know Graham or whoever that is I'm not sure 75 is is gonna get that get that spot stops the run by itself I really didn't mean it for, you know didn't expect that to happen, but whatever. So here, now this guy's back kind of far. So I would definitely want him down uh, in the box. So do the same adjustment. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cover this guy. I gotta be sure that I cover this guy when uh, when the play starts. So I gotta drop back into A7. It's another run though. I'm not expecting all these runs, but it's all good. It's working out. What I want here is that dude to roll out. So real easy adjustments, or adjustments I should say, pinch, um, <laughs> pinch and uh, you know slant inside with the line he's got to pick up 87 here once the play gets snapped and he's running but my dude didn't quite get that and that's okay defense is all over that man defense is much better this year to me it's simple man defense is the way to go that's why I'm really happy to find this play now this year makes it a little bit more difficult because I got to get back and get off for a swam here so this is going to be you know this is going to be the challenge but it's not hard to drop back into that you just have to you just have to make your decision if he's dropping straight back and we got the sack there were like three people luckily because my coverage wasn't there gotta watch the replay on that because my coverage was definitely not on point so here we go how'd this guy get free so quick look at that we got another a gap let's go that's probably because of the um that's probably because of the uh qb contain but uh, 70 there man he just who is 70 by the way I, i'm not a dallas fan but who is that is that martin that's all pro, like one of the highest rated linemen and players in the game. Martin just getting completely pooped and shucked and Fletcher Cox just gets right in for the easy sack. Let's go. So we're going to do this one more time. I'm trying to pinch, but they're not really going in. It's all good. Doesn't really matter. So here we go once again. I got to cover Swam here. Got to make sure that I'm on the spot with that. Still got the QB contain going. And it's a run play. And, you know, it's, it's this stops it pretty easily. This stops runs pretty easily. It's not really what I'm going for here, but 
inside runs especially because of the uh, slant inside setup. So let's get some more MA gaps. Oh, I'm all over that. Oh, and the defense. I don't know what was going on there. So, real simple setup. There's no running back back there this time. Let's go ahead and let's pinch these bad boys. I thought I did that, but here we go. You got to make sure to do the um, the QB contain last because if you do if you do it backwards, they're just going to be in a regular um, whatever it's called. And we're getting sacked. Like I said, he rolls out. He's in trouble. So let's go ahead and let's watch an instant replay. You got to stay in the pocket with this defense. Rolling out will not save you, which was you know what most people probably think. So now that I have this QB contained, he gets that outside edge. He sees the cornerbacks coming in free. He's either you know going to come pay, he's going to come one way or another past that tackle. And then, uh, sure enough, he just rolls right into that QB contain. Let's go. So here we go. We're gonna keep doing this uh, QB contain. Obviously, it works just fine without it. But like I said, I find the QB contain really takes uh, takes it to another level. So like I said, gonna keep up with the QB contain here. I'm gonna have to move this guy over again. Gonna have to take out this guy here. Take out this tight end. There's just nothing there, and there, there the QB contain just smacks them. That's what I want. That's that's what I'm expecting here. So here's going to be, like I said, this is going to be a challenge. I have my choice. I either can can uh, leave this guy to the running back, which is what I think I'm going to do, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to have to drop back and take away Swam. And it's a run play, and I you know I did my job. Yeah, if you bring. Uh, if you do the um, adjustment for the QB contain and bring in Jones too far, he'll turn into the contain. So I think that's not the best way to do it. I like the other way. But let's run it like that once or twice, see how that works out. So he comes in free again, regardless. Doesn't get the sack, though. <laughs> Doesn't finish the play, though, because he's I guess he's weak. All right, so that's it. That's the play. If you guys want to see more defensive plays or blitzes, do me a favor, like button, I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.